Welcome to the Wave Surfer Golden Demo. The Wave Surfer is a benchtop oscilloscope that, ha that has everything you need to capture, to view, and to measure waveforms, and do this quickly and easily. The Wave Surfer has, comes in four different bandwidths 200, 400, 600 megahertz, and 1 gigahertz. The sample rate goes up to 2.5 gigasamples per second, and on each channel, dedicated to each channel, is ten, up to 10 million um, waveform memory points. Um, there's three different ways to access this oscilloscope and operate it. You can use the front panel controls, you can use the uh, touch screen, or you can use the mouse. Uh, working with the touch screen or mouse, you have pull down menus. I'll go through some of these as we go through the demo. But also, there are uh, descriptors here for each channel or the time base and the trigger. And when you touch those, a dialog box appears and you have access to the controls. Always a close button on the right side, closes the dialog box. And what we're looking at here, our demo source is a wave source 100. It's generating a pulse width modulated signal. And I'd like to point out that the wave surfer oscilloscopes have wave stream. And wave stream allows you to get very fast update rates, up to 8,000 waveforms per second. By pushing the one button on the front panel, you can see any anomalies or changes in the signals are captured with wave stream. Selecting next, we recall another panel setup. This one is showing the easy and fast operation of the oscilloscope. Uh, I can use a push button, a finger push button on the front uh, to recall many things, but I'm going to use descriptors here. In this case, let's use the time base uh, descriptor and show you that Wave Surfer has complete all that you need, complete capabilities, and for capture, in this case, triggering. And triggering, select right here. See the different capabilities of width, qualified triggers, or pattern triggers on each of the channels, TV trigger, serial. We have a complete set of serial triggers for I squared C, SPI, UART RS232, CAN, LIN, and FlexRay on the, actually in the Wave Runner oscilloscopes. If we select Smart Trigger, we can see that there's even more trigger types available. We can trigger on a glitch or an interval, a dropout, in this case a run or slew rate. And if you look at the display, um, I'm triggering on channel 1, and we have captured, here's the trigger location on the right. Everything you need for capturing waveforms with the wave surfer is available here. Going to the next panel setup. I'm showing you that on the time-based descriptor that we're at 10 million sample points and you can see the update rate is very fast. And these, this 10 million points is dedicated to each of the four, channel, uh, four channels of input. Now to do a zoom, very easy. You do this with your finger or I'm going to use the mouse and if you wanted to look at more details, just draw a box around it. A separate zoom window opens up and we're now looking uh, at the zoom. You can continue to do another zoom and look at another point here or even zoom in on this particular uh, on the zoomed waveform. Put your cursor on it, move it around, put your cursor on it, move it up or down. All very easy to do. And we, because of the long memory now, you can see that even a little glitch is displayed here. Long memory allows you to get very wide time windows and maximize your sampling rate over that time window. Without that memory, your sample rate must drop and the details of this glitch disappear. Push button on the front panel closes or push button gives you one tenth of the main capture window displayed in the zoom window. Pushing the next button. We're showing you that there are parameters on the wave surfer, everything you need to measure waveforms, and we have six parameters in this table. Four are displayed. You have up to 24 to choose from for each of those six measurements. I'm going to click on P5. Here's a dialog box showing you the measure window, and we're going to add a rise time up opens the select measurement window we'll go down to rise select it it gets added here added to the table 
So everything you need for making measurements. In addition, if there is, if you'd like to specify where your measurements are being made, you can go ahead and use gating cursors. And now all six measurements are being made in between uh, these two gates. I'm going to select default. And I'd like to point out that LaCroix provides these measurements, these parameters, but we don't just measure one instance on this waveform. We measure every one of them. So if I turn on statistics and close the dialog box, what you can see is let's pick on P3, which is width. We can see that there is the current value, which is the last one on that display. We calculated for over 3,500 measurements we calculated the mean, the minimum, the maximum, and the standard deviation. You can see that this first one, peak to peak, is only a per waveform measurement. So we can see that we have 230 waveforms. But within that, we have captured over um, now almost 7,000 measurements. And we provided you more details that, wow, we do have an 162 nanosecond pulse width here where the bulk of them, the mean of them, is 189 microseconds. So having every instance captured and added to the statistics gives us more insight to, the, uh, to our measurements. This is not available on other oscilloscopes in this class. Now there is the ability to uh, add math and in this case we're looking at a FFT and the choices if I select touch the math dialog box we can see that we have a dial uh, math opens up and we have five math, math waveform choices for the standard scope and then you can add the advanced math which gives you another uh, 12 additional math functions, including the ability to have two maths uh, combined if you're doing power and you want to int so voltage times current, and then that would be one math function. And if you would like to integrate it to get energy or differentiate it, you can do that with this dual math function with this math, advanced math option. If you, so, in the, we have a wide assortment of probes, and you can integrate that in with the scope, where the scope recognizes the current probes and gives you the right units and parameter, and there's your math choices. So let's move on to our next panel setup, where we're showing you wave scan. This is not available on any other oscilloscopes, where we do provide you uh, information that triggers will miss triggers require you to understand something about your signal to, tr to set the triggers properly with wave scan you don't need that in this case what we're looking at is the original capture there is red and we have a zoom that's here I'm gonna go to single shot we have a zoom of this original capture and you notice that the red identifies the feature that wave scan is measuring and the feature has been set up to be pulse width the table provided on the left gives you a value of the pulse widths for every one on this waveform. We can see that we have 53 different measurements and it looks like we have a very narrow glitch here and we can see as soon as you touch this value the zoom trace focuses and centers on that and if we take our horizontal control we can zoom in on it and now we can see that there is that glitch there and we can quickly get to it again much faster than going through and working with triggers